Welcome back to Mrs P What Is For Tea. I have got a very, very small Costco haul. All it is is our last minute bits for Christmas. So, um, I've got ridiculously 40 bags of Maltesers. This is for my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law loves Maltesers. And this will do her about, oh, I don't know, six months. So I do buy her the great big box of individual packets and then she can have a fresh packet anytime she wants. Got another four of butter. Um, I just want to make sure I've got enough to carry me through till after our next holiday, which is um, two weeks on Sunday. I picked up another one of these square sausage. Oh my goodness. This is absolutely delicious. Wee bit spicy, really tasty, not a huge amount of fat out of it. Um, I cook it in the air fryer and it is beautiful. I will freeze this because this is dated Christmas Day, so that'll be frozen down. I'll freeze it in fours and I'll freeze it in twos. Fours when we're both here. Or I might freeze it all in twos, actually, because uh, two slices does me lovely. So sliced sausage. Uh, then we've got two one litres of the fresh double cream. Oh, this is beautiful. Lovely. And it's to go with the puddings that Mr P's picked up for Christmas Day. For tomorrow night, we have got a butter chicken curry. Butter chicken's one of the ones we like. It's not hot. Um, that's due to the 26th, but we're going to have that tomorrow night with rice and naan breads. He picked up two of the jelly beans. Um, so yeah, someone at work wanted one, so I needed a replacement. So we picked up two of those. Don't know, are we going to keep one for us? I'm going to send one to the boy. Then decided, yeah. I haven't decided what we're doing with the spare one, but always good to have a spare rather than be short. And then the desserts for Christmas Day. We've got a fruit bar cake. That was twelve ninety nine, dated the 26th. I have got a Victoria sandwich. Look at that. Beautiful. That's dated the 27th. That bugger might not see Christmas then. No, it might not see Christmas. And well, that was 10 99 And for the chocolate lovers among us, we have got a huge chocolate fudge cake. That one was 11 49 dated the 28th. How much was that? Uh, 11 49 Not bad. And that is our shopping from Costco that we needed to complete Christmas. I'm going to pick up veg tomorrow and then that's just done. All the meats in the freezer, that's going to be coming out tomorrow because I will cook that overnight on uh, Christmas Eve in the Aga. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll perhaps show you that actually because I've never shown you that before. So that's us. That's what we got. I'll... Um, Put the prices and the total on the screen, and that's on just those cakes. Yeah, the two, the sponge and the chocolate one. Yeah, you they, they can be kept ambient. Yeah, those are ambient, so they don't one, have to go in the fridge. The fruit bar has got to be fridged. Fruit bar has to go in the fridge, so these two we're just going to put out in the what we call the back room. Um, it's nice and cool out there, that's where they'll go. And then we've got the fruit bar. What we'll do Christmas Day is we will take uh plastic takeout boxes with us. Then people can either have pudding or they can take it home with them for later. So that is the plan. So last little bit of Costco shopping. Um, I'll show you what I get veg-wise tomorrow. Um, I'll film that for you. I'll put the prices for this on the screen and the total. And yeah, that's us. We are all ready for Christmas. And it was a good saving on the fuel. Yeah, and the fuel was amazing. My car was... I paid was... 137 for premium... Unleaded. unleaded, yeah. I paid 137 a litre for premium unleaded. Took my car, my uh, my new car, my, my Kia with them uh, this week and, got, and filled that one up for me. So, well, we'd love you to click the subscribe button and join the family. And I'll film a little bit more tomorrow when I buy the veg, but I'll put all the prices on the screen for this little bit. So thank you very much and I'll speak to you soon. And welcome back to part two. <clears throat> We've been up to Aldi. It's 20 to 10. We're home. Do you know, it was so quiet. I bet it was bedlam at 7 o'clock this morning, but we just slotted in nice to a wee quiet spot. So, 
what did we get to Aldi? We went for veg, primarily for veg for Christmas Day. So I got all of that. So I got two bags of the white potatoes, uh, which are on offer. I think the 15 pence, I'm not sure. So I got two bags of those. I got two packs of purple sprouting and two packs of the tender stem. I myself can't actually tell the difference, but just in, in case people have got a preference, I got both. And I'm going to put these in the steamer up at the village hall. I picked up two cauliflowers because I'm going to make cauliflower cheese. And I think cauliflower cheese does better when you use a whole cauliflower rather than a pre-prepared one. Carrots, I've got three bags of batten carrots. I know this is really lazy. I absolutely agree that it's more expensive and it's really lazy. But when you're cooking for 15 plus people, any shortcut's a good one. Um, and that's it for the veg, I think. I think that's it for the veg. I picked up four bags of the basmati rice. I've got none on hand. We've got the curry that we got at Costco we're going to have for dinner tonight. So a, a takeaway that's not a takeaway. Um, so I've got four of those. I picked up a mango chutney. I've never seen a pouring mango chutney, but I love mango chutney. So I picked up one of those. Uh, I picked up two unsalted butter because I might get my sourdough started out and do some baking this weekend. So I picked up two of those. I got a chicken and a beef gravy. Now, I'm sure I've got these, but I just want to be extra, extra sure. So just in case, because I'm doing turkey, I'm doing beef and I'm doing lamb. So I want to make both types of gravy. couple of bags of the tiger rolls to go with that lovely sliced sausage that we got at Costco. Um, these are dated the 26th Boxing Day. Where are we today? The 23rd. We'll get through them. Two bags of four. Uh, Mr P made his own cheese board. He picked up double Gloucester and cheddar with pickled onions through it. And I also got three of the large mature cheddar. Mr P's got to grate these down for me so that I've got grated cheese in the fridge. I'm not a great... I mean, I've used the pre-grated loads and loads of times, but I think it's it's more economical to grate it yourself. And I do have a machine and you don't get that powdered coating on it that you get when you buy it pre-grated. So I've got three blocks of the extra mature. Parsnips I got Christmas Day. Only four, because not many people like them, but I do do them. Um, they don't always get eaten, but I just think if you're doing roast potatoes, you want roast parsnips. Um, I got four single pints of milk, dated the 2nd of January. This is for Mr P for work. He is working New Year's Day, so he'll have one of these that week. Because obviously the shops are going to be shut in between, which is great. Handy bananas for myself. You know, I like a handy bananas. Then we got a carton of the Madagascan Vanilla Custard, 30th of December, this is dated. Oh, we like a bit of cake and custard and I've got an apple crumble in the freezer. So that's going to go with that. For Christmas Day again, I picked up two, two salt and two pepper. Um, we've got a big crowd, I could have one each end of the table and then Mr P will take them in his lorry and he uses these over the years. So... They get used up, so by the time we come to next Christmas, I'll be looking to buy more, but this is the most effective way of taking it. It doesn't spill, dead easy. So I bought two salt and two pepper. I bought three of the Foxy's Classic Biscuits um, for gifts. Um, I don't know how many table guests I've got, so I've got some nice gift bags that I can put a box of biscuits in. Um, it's always a welcome present, something to eat, isn't it? So I've got three boxes of those I picked up. Also for table guests, I got two of the white Zinvendal and two of the red. So I know that I've definitely got two old chaps coming. 
So I'll put a box of biscuits and one each of these little mini wines for them in the bag. Um, then a right bargain to get in, in um, Aldi. Since I've one with them, so I've got two of those. Um, they've got the New York coffees, uh, three in one white coffee with sugar, 12 sachets, 99 pence. So I've got two of those, one for Justin, one for his workmate. Light hot chocolate, same price, 40 calories, 10 sachets, 99 pence. And the salted caramel flavoured coffees, 12 packet, 99 pence. Great for the lorry, boil the kettle, instant brew in a cup. So those are for Mr P and his workmate. Also for his workmate who loves all things banana. Banana Angel Delight. It's years since I've seen this. We spotted it, we picked him up. Three sashes. It's just a bit of a laugh really. Um, as far as this go, Mr P got Beef Wellington and he got Bratwurst brat, brat Sausage. I got the Seabrooks plain but just six small bags because a big bag like that well I got I like plain crisps I got the Seabrooks six small bags then we picked up some corned beef for Mr P for work picked up three packs dated the 2nd of January as I say he's back at work on the 1st so it's a good fallback if the shops aren't opened um I got some grapes you know I like a bit of fruit so I got grapes this week and bananas as you've seen I we're having that curry tonight, so we picked up um, an Indian selection of snacks to go with it. So we'll have that with the rice, the curry, and we've got those naan breads we got last week. So that's to go with uh, tonight's dinner. What we don't eat, Mr P will take to work, which is great. Also got quiche Lorraine from Mr P for work, 1st of January, so you'll have that this weekend. That just saves me making a quiche, although I still might make a quiche, but um, yeah, he likes that. And he also picked up two of Christmas and Stuffing Trees. I think these are a bit like chicken satay snacks, but these are dated the 5th of January. So picked up one for this week and one for next week. Bless him, he loved these orange, uh, Galaxy Orange Cake Bars. He loved them. Got one of those. No mince pies to be seen in the place. So if you're still looking for mince pies on the Saturday before Christmas Day, you're not going to be lucky, certainly in our Aldi. And he picked up a couple of these. These are Ambrosia dessert pots, the mint flavoured. These are ambient, so they don't have to go in his fridge until he's preparing to eat them. So it just saves room. So he got two packs of those. And that's it. That's a lot. £94, I think. But we are done. We have shopped. We don't have to go out again. He's got to do a bit of delivering. Um, but we don't have to go out again. So um, I'd love you to click the subscribe button and join the family. Thank you everybody who's joined me um, over the last six months since I started on YouTube. I am so grateful to have your company. Um, I want to wish you all a happy and safe Christmas season. If you don't celebrate Christmas, holiday season, um, just keep safe, be kind to one another, be kind to those you meet in the street because none of us know what someone else is going through, sadly. And um, I look forward to speaking to you later in the week. I'm going to show you uh, on Wednesday how I cook all my meat for Christmas Day. I've got three. I've got a full leg of lamb, I've got a big joint of beef, and I've got a turkey, like rolled turkey breast from Marks and Spencers. So I'll show you how I cook that in my cook with me and how we organise this mammoth task every year. We have it down to a bit of an art. Two of us work together really, really well, but we've been doing it for 30 odd years, so that's why we work so well together. And um, yeah, I'd love you to join me for that one. So take care of each other, take care of yourself, be kind and I hope everybody's kind to you and um, I'll speak to you soon.